And welcome back to All Over the Map. Thanks for tuning in on this episode. It is Finland Fridays, and we are going to be playing the Hotels of Finland by Mika, a game that we haven't played before. We've done another map from Hotels of Finland, uh, but this is a new map. And quite frankly, I will be in a hotel this weekend at a youth football tournament with my daughter. So I thought, hey, let's explore some Hotels of Finland, maybe give me some ideas when I travel to Finland, what hotels, what locations to stay at. So I just want to take a quick look here. Maybe we'll find some of these hotels in this game. But uh, I see here the price. There's you got, you got Hilton, you got Radisson, the Holiday Inn, $104, not too bad. Balo Hotel, we got the Arctic Resort up north, $543 a night. Wow. Um, there's that Hilton, Helsinki, Arctic Guest House and Igloos for $94. Okay, that's that seems to be a pretty good deal. But just because it's a good deal doesn't mean it's necessarily great. Uh, but a lot of places here up north, Glass Villas, the Clarion Hotel, um, Hotel Villa Molenby. Okay, so uh, Sokos, there we are. So let's see if we can get any of these hotels. If you've been to a hotel in Finland or you recommend a hotel, let, let us know in the comments down below or if you're an airbnb or whatever let us know what's the place to stay what's the place to go resort decent hotel in helsinki tampere we're going to play this game as a no time limit moving panning panning zooming allowed challenge the play along link will be in the description below and off we go to find some hotels maybe we will stay in one of these hotels interesting interesting hotel here it looks like a barn of sorts Hotel, well, let's find out what the hotel is first. Um, oh, can we not find out what this is? Hotel Ikra something. So this is an interesting hotel. Got wood on the outside. Boat out windows. Raventola Krapihovi. wonder if that's Krapihovi. Is... Uh, where we are here, an older hotel. Looks like it's on some nice grounds. Go for a walk in the morning. Um, we've got golf here, so nice little resort. Maybe there's a wedding. Uh, but let's find out where this is. This hotel. It should be a sign here, maybe. All blurred out. Yikes. Savu Sauna. So there's a sauna. I guess well, that would be the other question. If you stay at a Hilton or if you stay at a Radisson or any hotel, most hotels have a sauna, I would imagine. Yeah, so we've got, oh, Hoteli Crappy. Raventola Crappehovi. So where's Crappy? The town of Crappy. Crappy. Ah, there's something we have, I have not, I've yet to see. In Finland, on any of the games, is a golf course. About ready to tee off. He's fixing his hat. No carts at this one. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. This is uh, a little different than the 145. Okay, so maybe we're close to Helsinki with this. Um, what do we got here? Crappy. 1049 and it is 20 degrees at 1049 in the morning. Carava. Okay, so let's look for a 145. Here we are. Here's Carava. The one four five. There's the town of Crappy, the village of Crappy, Tusalen Golf Cluby, and the Crappy Hotel. It's a four star hotel. There we go. Um, okay, so the wait a minute. It's a mini golf. Ah, there's some golf carts there. Okay, there's the golf cart path. All right, 
wonder if any of you play golf or played at this golf course. Yeah, nice golf course, this. The driving range is uh, over there. Yeah, nice, nice course. Nice course, this. Okay, so there's the Krapovi, Krapihovi Raventola. I think we're right about there. Let's go for this spot looking west. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. There we are. 5,000 points. Hoteli Crappy for the first round. Ah, look at this one. Again, uh, the cool thing with some of these hotels and just buildings in general in Finland is the different architecture from this, the first hotel to this one. Seems a little more Baltic style. I don't know if that's there's such a thing, but it seems more of like the Baltic state style. Um, okay, so this is Radisson. It's a Radisson restaurant. Terve Tuloa. Terve Tuloa. Tanner. Um, maybe this is, well, university here of some sort. Oh, wait, this is on Tampere. There's those trees again. So we're in Tampere. And, uh, wow, the hotel's, there we go. Let's get a different look at this hotel. If we can go through it, well, I didn't mean to do that. No, we can't. Uh... There we are, beautiful. There we are. That's what we're looking for. Beautiful day in Tampere. Seems to go together, in English at least. Okay, so... <clears throat> I feel like we're around here. Whoa, wait, wait, there is that bridge. Yeah, so this is, we were near the spa museum before. Tamar, it looks like two ends, but I think, uh, I think this is where we are here on Rangen, Rangen Katu. Uh, well, maybe not. Oh, it is. Yeah, Bistro Tamer. It's got to be the only Radisson probably in town. Um, so I think we're right about there. Go for that. Tom Ray for the second round. Perfect score so far. Oh, look at this one. Another Radisson blue. And um, now I can't tell. I guess this is new. Um, but, uh, but anyway, let's, um, uh, we come right into the check-in here. We can check in here at the hotel. So the first two, I would definitely stay at this one. I probably would. I don't know. Um, if you've been to any of these hotels and you recommend the hotels, let us know. Uh, if they're good, we're on the water, so I wonder if this is like a loo. Um, it's interesting, people riding bikes to hotels. Typically, with hotels, I would think people come from further afield. Um, but maybe they... Whoa, something changed here. Um, maybe they work work at the hotel. Okay. Um, hmm, let's go find out where we are. I was thinking of a loo, but... Uh, because of the water, just general feel of the place. There's a stadium. Yeah, I think this is Olu because the stadium is on this side of the water. Let's just take a quick look. Yeah, there's that stadium right there at the large floodlights, and we've got another four-star hotel. I don't know if that necessarily means it's a four-star. Well, it's a four-star. I 
this is the first time I noticed this on, on this. I guess I haven't been paying attention to the hotels. But it's actually got the rating on here by people on Google Maps. I just, I guess I didn't think about it. Um, usually I see that. But, yeah, there's the Aloof Theater. I guess that's what that is. Theater. Um, yeah, Aloof, this is, the Aloof, and I've said this before, it's definitely a place I want to visit when I come to Finland. Um, would this be the place to stay in Olu, this Radisson Blue? Is that the question or is there something else? Uh, again, feel free to comment down below um, if this is the place to stay. It seems pretty convenient. Let's take a quick look around. I wonder if it does have, I mean, for me, it's going to have to have a sauna. Um, nice to have a swimming pool, but not every hotel is a swimming pool. Um restaurant, a bar, don't need any of that stuff. The one thing that's interesting, and, I, and again, I don't know if this is the case in Finland, um, a lot of hotels in the United States have free breakfast. In fact, the ones that we're staying at this weekend's got free breakfast. So that always helps too with uh, with family. All right, Olu, Radisson Blue, 5,000 points. We get off to the fourth round. We got a hotel that's, I've stayed at a couple times. And again, this is, I think I've been here before on another, not a hotel game, but this is a hotel that stood out because I didn't think it was really overseas like it is. I know that it, it's, there's, there's a lot of Marriott's obviously, but from a courtyard brand or the courtyard under the Marriott brand, I was thinking there probably wasn't many, just like Hampton hotels or Hampton Inns that are by Hilton. Um, don't see them too much overseas, but I guess it's starting to increase. The Courtyard by Marriott, this one is in Tampere, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think this is new. Yeah, Tampere Talo Museum. Yeah, we were here in another game, I guess the Tampere game, perhaps. Um, but we know exactly where this is, at least I do, or I recall. Um, it's down... In these streets here. Now, as I say this, I felt like it was across from the university. Like, the university's maybe not. I thought the university was around there. Um, Calavente, I feel like it's here. There it is. Um, 4.3. So that's the thing. The, the last one, Radisson Blue, was a four star hotel, but is 4.3. This one's a 4.3 as well, but a three star. So I don't know who comes up with that. But courtyard is definitely a place I stay. It would stay. They they would usually have a pool sauna. Uh, this is the other thing. A little gym. That's always key for me. I need to have a mini gym. Get a good workout in. Um, but when you go to a hotel and you go to a hotel in Finland, what are you looking for? Are you looking for a breakfast with a diner? place to eat or are you just looking to sleep <laughs> and that's it nothing else okay so what did it say ravinto a Monseri. i wonder what that is a little tunnel to the place i'm gonna guess that we're probably here oh wait the traffic light is wait Street is this here? Akar. Okay, so there we are. The getaway room, Tom Perret. How about that? So it's interesting. As uh, yeah, there we go. Five thousand points, eight yards. So it's interesting as we had that one Tom Perret city game. Now I'm getting a lot of locations in Tom Perret city center. So it's interesting how GeoGuessr seems to want to. Again, um, Tapiola Garden. I feel like I've been to this hotel again in a different game. I'll, I'll probably have to do another Hotel of Finland gaming. This is a fun one. I really enjoy it because it's a good way to explore and learn hotels and when I travel to Finland, where to stay. Uh, I can't think of the top of my head where this is. I feel like it's like 
west of Helsinki. It's also amazing too, you know, playing these Finland games on GeoGuess server the past, I guess it's been a year, two years that I've been doing this on a consistent basis. Um, learning about Finland, it's amazing how much I know uh, or picked up just things from playing virtually on a game of like knowing exactly kind of where these things are. Um, interesting new buildings, a lot of buildings going up here. Um, the Tapiola Garden looks like a little, this looks like a 70s, maybe early 70s, built in like, I would guess 73. These are interesting pines. I like these pine trees. But yeah, this seems like an older, maybe this is an older like resort or something. Anybody know, comment down below. It looks like, yeah, this is like, like an older hotel. Again, I'm thinking it's like in this area, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, it is. There's Tapiola. Espoo Metro Arena. So wonder. Here we are. Looking east. Okay, so I was, so I wonder if this in fact is from the 70s or 80s. What was around here? My guess, just looking at some of the buildings, there wasn't much here. I guess there's like probably a big park. People came here to. I'd love to know, because you see this other thing, these bubbles. It's like a very 1980s style of uh, skylight, I guess. Raventola Grillet. Uh, where are we here? From the parking lot. Yeah, I think uh, there's another four-star hotel. However, it's a 4.0. So I'm going to go here on this one. Let's go right there. There we are, 5,000 points. Perfect score for this game. Hotels in Finland. Very southern, I guess, game. Tampere, Helsinki, and we did get Olu. So definitely places that I, ironically, this game, places that would be on the top five locations I would visit when I come to Finland. But yeah, if you have any suggestions on hotels or places that you like or resorts, let us know in the comments down below. And with that said, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, cheers.